What is going on, Lunatics? The single most important thing in Luna Classic right now is the burn mechanism. It's to find a way to minimize and reduce the number of coins in circulation with both Luna Classic and with USTC. And I'm going to show you a couple ways that that's being done right now. And hopefully this is going to continue. Don't forget, Ceramic himself is working on a new burn protocol. And it's almost completed. We're going to get some information about it. I want to say the first week of November. A long time between now and then. But we've also got some Binance burns coming in about five days. And they've enhanced the way that they're burning. We don't know the reason. We don't know the mechanism. But we do know that it is happening. And if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Uh, let's talk about it. And let's figure out what's going on. So first, Binance has amped up their lunk burns, but it doesn't say why. And the question that's being asked is, why is that not really affecting the overall supply? Or why is that not really affecting the overall price? Why are they not uh, working kind of in unison right now? And I want to say, number one, the answer to that, volume. So there's a lot of people on the sidelines right now that are just into meme coins, stuff like that. We're gonna look at price action first. So as you can see, I, you know, I've been pretty right so far, but I'm generally guessing, right? Uh, like anybody else in this uh, position, we're just kind of guessing about price. And you can see here that we're minting higher lows uh, and lower highs. And that would be a kind of a consolidation into uh, a wedge pattern that, that would be a, a breakout. Now, the problem with this breakout pattern, what we're seeing play out right now, is that it's coming from the top, and this consolidation is generally bearish when it's coming from this range down. However, let me also state that no matter what those patterns are, and you can see them form over here, and you see a big dip. You can see it kind of form right there, and you can see a big dip. But you can also see it kind of forming uh, sort of right here, and then you see that it, it, it caused an explosive move. Now, uh, part of that is the overall and broader market. So what I think is happening right now, and if you just grant me here uh, a, a little bit, that let's call that move right here kind of an outlier. So uh, we, we kind of catch these wicks. Now, we, we've got a good structure here. And what this looks like to me is that we're continuing to test around here up near the top. Now, when it's like this, the, the more this structure is not perfectly symmetrical and the more it's pushing towards the top, the more likely it is to break towards that upside. Because what you're doing is you're continuing to test and what you should be doing is is this right here. Should be just kind of uh, creating this little wedge, but that's not happening. What you're getting is more of a flattened sort of top and then higher lows um, each and every time that we're, we're doing the swing. So that would generally indicate that price is about to go up and we're about to get on that big run. Now, um, going back to what we've been talking about most of this time is uh, there is a, a move here that I think, you know, this thing is going to break out and we're going to test this sort of range up here. Uh, we've still got that move that I've been telling you that that I, I think is playing out, that move into uh, these ranges up here. You know, all of that is still in play. Nothing has really changed fundamentally. What I'm looking at is a breakout from here in October, probably coming up here and testing this range one more time. So that's a, and that's a pretty good sign. That's a, that's an indication that there's volume. That's an indication that people are stepping back into the arena. And listen, at the beginning of this year, I will tell you this: the beginning of this year, that's when you're going to see a large amount of retail re-enter. Uh, and if you're asking yourself and you're wondering why that might be, well, I think the answer is very very easy. It's going to be tax time in the United States. During tax time in the United States, every four years, you do see people get into crypto because they're finding their way. And the narrative uh, publicly starts to change a little bit. And with the current election, with crypto being a hot button topic, it's only going to go up from here. So it's just a matter of timing right now and your ability to have a little patience that makes the biggest difference overall. So um, there you have it. This is really what's, I'm, I'm, look, I'm sure that this is going to happen. It's just a question of which day it's going to really start to amp up and, and, and really start to rip. And look, overnight we were down, uh, I, I, you know, yesterday was not a great day for crypto, uh, but it's been bought back to, today. So there's a lot of 
uh, pressure to move towards the upside. There's a lot of upside momentum happening right now in cryptocurrency. So um, I, I would say that this is going to happen very soon. Now, let's move on a little bit. As far as proposals go, there's nothing that's really been changed over here. The last one that we got was on the 17th. So, you know, nine days, no real new discussions, but these are important discussions that are being had. I would encourage you to go to Commonwealth uh, as far as uh, cryptos go. Uh, now, I did partner with Jupiter. So we're going to be talking about Jupiter over the next couple of days. Um, uh, I received 150 uh, in tokens to, to go over the Jupiter protocol. So we're going to be talking about this over the next couple of days. This is not the priority today, but I wanted you to know if you see a big change in my wallet, that's the reason why is because we're gonna be talking about Jupiter a little bit. But boys, remember we put 50 in, it's 131 now. Food, 85 out of 50. Jura, 73 out of 50. Garuda X, 55 out of 50. So, you know, we're, we're having a nice little upward move. Uh, Tesla X down 31% on the day. Trump up 38% in the Luna Classic community. And Lenny is up 7 17% as well. So a little bit of movement. Uh, we've also got Mars that's launched over here with the USTC pairing. Remember, Mars has been one of those big ones that Elon has been talking about. He's been going on quite a bit about this one. So, you know, we'll, um, um, and by the way, this is not the same one. However, uh, you know, we, we kind of mirror and ape what we see going on in broader markets. So, you know, you, you, you could see just some, some interesting stuff start to pop up and, and um, a, a little little copycat stuff. And th if this is meme coins, so that's what it's for, really. So uh, as far as volume goes, let's get back to, to, to the topic I can. 21 million is the volume right now. Still not great, but you know we'll take it. We'll, 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 we'll take that volume. Uh, 6 million in USTC, 1828. So you know we're really up uh, a pretty good percentage. When you look at the seven day number here, uh, you had a low over here of 1731 we were talking about. Uh, and now we're sitting, just getting closer and closer to 18 and a half cents. So, you know, call it an 8% uptick, which is a pretty good number. Not great, but decent enough. So uh, interest starting to come back, if you will. And we'll see how this translates and how this plays out. Uh, now, the LUNK metrics uh, are now, the, the USTC supply tracker is now live. Uh, you can look at this right here and you can see the circulating supply and the total USTC supply. Now, one thing to remember here is this was not being done this way before. And I want to move to stake bin here and you can see that, you know, this, this went from 8.9 billion down to 8.1 billion. But also remember when we talked about this and we've been talking about this for long enough that we know that didn't affect the total supply whatsoever. So that, that total supply had already removed Anchor Protocol from this, uh, uh, so so we didn't get the lift, if you will, that we were looking for. And by the way, it should be noted here that that uh, $726 million had already been removed out of the circulating supply and total supply as well, which is why you're not seeing a, a big move. But there are more tokens left to burn. Look, I want to say that there's something like $2 billion more that are in the... Um, uh, and, and by the way, remember, circulating supply, $5.8 billion, total supply, $8 Point two billion, let's call it. It is possible that all of that's already been removed, and you know where I'm just you know when I talk to you about this, I'm just kind of grasping at straws, if you will. That you know somebody has already genuine labs or whomever it is that's reporting or has been reporting. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for. $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit, you will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000 credited in the native token of your deposit. The way that this works is, number one, make a deposit or create a launch pool contract. Number two, enjoy your staking benefits. And number three, receive a random bonus directly to your deposit. The higher the stake, the greater the potential for reward. All right, folks, we're going for six months this time, 29.6 APY on this one. We're going to put in 0.2 Bitcoin. Contract has been created. We're going to earn a 29.6% reward. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. If you are interested in high yield rewards from a platform in order to further your crypto adventure, whatever your journey might be, then Cryptonomy.finance is the place for you. 
And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. The ROIs are phenomenal and they continue to yield new funds. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start earning. Might have already done this, so um, we, we we might not be looking at too much of a lift. I you know, and, and that's just to be honest with you up front. Uh, I'm you know, when I look at this and when I see that, I, I want to get deeper into it, and I don't have that answer for you. But you know, it, it's I'm going to look at this, and I will let you guys know maybe tomorrow or something like that about whether or not this this pairing. Um, you know, what is the circulating supply? Will it have any effect overall? Uh, by the way, fully diluted market cap over here, 149 million. Uh, total market cap right now, 106 million. When you start to put those together and you look at the total, the total supply, it doesn't matter what we do over here. That's not going to change anything because if the total supply is reduced by another 2 billion, then the fully diluted market cap goes down, but it does not affect the overall market cap because the overall market cap is basically the value still locked into it based on uh, trade volume, based on how many people are actually holding tokens, et cetera, et cetera. So um, no real, um, nothing really happening there. So uh, let's move on. Uh, I don't have an answer for you on that. Uh, now the Lunk metrics, uh, we've got that worked out. Lunk burns 270 million over the last seven days up a little bit from yesterday but still you know kind of waning behind some of this other stuff like we really need to see a good lift now in order to get a good lift make sure you go to terra casino in order to make your risk-based gaming uh four hundred thousand dollars in giveaway for pragmatic play uh, we've got two million euros from the world poker league we've got 1.2 million from evolution euros uh from september 2nd to september 29 and then of course you can use bnb busd um uh, luna classic luna uh, bitcoin ethereum polygon matic paul now of course um litecoin dogecoin usdc usdt what are you waiting for there's they're giving away money they're giving away tons of money and you should be part of it and also if you want to trade those meme coins that i was talking about if you want to trade um, uh, jupiter if you want to trade any of them then the place to go is terraport.finance they are also one of the big burn protocols let me point that out to you terraport.finance number 13 overall so uh, they've burned more than Bybit. Bybit is one of the biggest derivatives exchanges on the planet. They've burned more than Bybit. So, you know, just consider if you want to support and you want to help, then meme coins are where it's at. That's where the easy money is getting made in this business right now. And if you're not doing that, I don't know what's wrong with you, but that's where the big money's being made is meme coins. So, um, go make some of the big money. All right, guys, tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit more about Jupiter. Uh, I'll give you all the links, all the information that you need to know about Jupiter. Uh, and then we're going to dig in a little bit more. Um, you know, we've covered Garuda X in the last couple of days. We've covered Rocket. Uh, we've played a little bit of Rocket. You know, there's a lot going on in this ecosystem that we need to dig into. Uh, I've been introduced to Orbit Labs. So there'll be some more information coming out about Orbit Labs over the next couple of days. Guys, I couldn't be more bullish on the future of Luna Classic. It is just a matter of time right now before we see an explosive move. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, none of this is financial advice, but I'm always right.